All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of x is equal to three. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the ln or natural log on both sides. So I get ln of x to the power of x is equal to ln of three. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times ln x is equal to ln 3. Now, I'm going to use an important formula called the W Lambert formula. And it states that if I take the W of something in the form A times E to the power of A, then this is equal to A. So this is the W Lambert formula. So in this case, I'm going to rewrite this so that it suits the W Lambert formula. So we need to change this to be in the form A times E to the power of A. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to first start by rewriting this x as e to the power of ln of x because x e to the power of ln cancel out so that's just x is all that remains so x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x and I have this times ln x is equal to ln 3 so now notice how this is in the form a times e to the power of a a in this case being ln x so it's form ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3. So now if I take the w Lambert function on both sides, I get w of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3. And this is just equal to a. So, and sorry, I have to take the w on both sides. So I get w of ln 3. And then now I'm left with ln of x is equal to w of ln 3. Now, I want to get rid of this ln, so I'm just going to take e to the power of both sides. e to the power of ln is, these two cancel out, so I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln of 3. So this is my answer to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and check out uh, other videos that are similar to these on my channel. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 8 to the power of x is equal to 32. So to solve this, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 8 to the power of x is equal to log of 32. And now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this is turned into b times log a. So log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. So now in the case of log 8 to the power of x, we can think of x as b, so we can move x to the front of the logarithm. So I get x times log of 8 is equal to log of 32. Now, from here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 8 because we want to isolate x because that's what we're trying to find the value of. So now these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log of 32 over log of 8. Now, log of 32 is the same thing as log of 8 times 4. So I get log of 8 times 4 
over log of 32. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, this is going to equal log of a plus log of 4. And I have this over log of 32. Sorry, I have this over log of 8. Now, this turns into log 8 over log 8 plus log 4 over log 8. So now these two cancel out to get 1. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log of 4 over log of 8. Now, log of 4 is the same thing as log of 2 squared. And log of 8 is the same thing as log of 2 to the power of 3. So now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, again, I can move b to the front, so turn to b times log a. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with both of these. So I get x is equal to 1 plus, I can move the 2 to the front. So <clears throat> 2 times log 2 over the same thing with 3, so 3 times log 2. So now these two cancel out. Now I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 over 3, which is equal to 1 is the same thing as 3 over 3, so 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3, which is 5 over 3. So x is 5 over 3. Now, how do we know that this is the right answer? So, going back, we have a to the power of x equals 32. And we're plugging in 5 over 3. So we get 8 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 32. Now, if you already know, 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 33 is the same thing. 32 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So these two threes cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 5, or this is the same thing as 32 is equal to 32. This is right. Now, I also have a second method of solving this problem. So for the second method, we have the same equation, a to the power of x is equal to 32. And this is a simpler method. So for this method, I'm actually just going to start by rewriting these two numbers. So 8, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. And 32, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 5. So I'm rewriting both of these as the same bases, which now it makes it much easier to solve. 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3x which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. And because these two have the same bases, a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, meaning m is equal to n. So 3x is equal to 5, and x is equal to 5 over 3. So that's another method of solving this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family. Thank you.